What's going on, you guys? It's your boy JB Trekking back with another video, man. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Also, hit that subscribe button for your boy and also hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, in today's video, man, we finna, I'm finna give y'all my advice and my tips. I've been getting this uh, a lot in my inbox on Instagram. Do I have any advice or do I have any tips for someone that's, you know, entering the industry and jumping into trucking or hot shot trucking? So I'm going to give you all the rundown six um, key pointers. So we're going to get right into it. All right. Tip number one. Know about trucking industry, know about the trucking industry or know a general idea about trucking. Just don't jump into it, get a trucking trailer. And next thing you know, you don't know about, you know, your GVWR, your trailer GVWR, and you just out there, you know, not in compliance. So get a general idea of what trucking means and also know, you know, uh, just get a general idea. So we all got to start somewhere and you don't got to know everything, but at least get some type of idea so you can, uh, you know, protect yourself and um, have a general idea. So Number two, uh, have all your documents. And what I mean by have all your documents, you most definitely need to have a physical, a DOT physical that's uh, verified, someone that can do it. Uh, what else? You got to have an MVR, motor vehicle registration. No, no, motor vehicle record, my bad. Hey, motor vehicle record. That's what the MVR is. Uh, employment and verification. Employment verification means is a application that's basically you applying. You know you're hiring yourself. That's what you got to have on file. Um, a truck and trailer inspection (DOT) as well. And if you have any drivers that you're going to hire, you got to have make sure that they have all their credentials as well uh, too. So uh, have all your documents in play. Number three. You want to make sure that you have the uh, required insurance for your business. Um, my input on that is what I came across when I was booking load. Some brokers wanted me to have a higher coverage. Of, I think they wanted me to have like a $2 million uh, dollar policy. So save yourself and just go ahead and get the higher premium coverage just so you don't have to go back and forth because it can be time consuming and a hassle and a headache so just go on ahead and get the uh, highest coverage if you can it's gonna make your premium go up just a little bit but not a lot so just go ahead and do that off jump and um for equipment you want to make sure that you have you know all the general uh equipment you know uh two inch four inch straps chain and binders uh, edge protectors, you know, have your tarp, uh, what else? Flashlight, gloves, rain gear, uh, cover for the tarp so you don't uh, damage your tarp. As far as like uh, sharp edges, you want to have some of those, um, you know, bungees as well, you know, zip ties if you need it, uh, flashlights, and uh, a backup tire, trailer. Nine out of 10, most trucks come with a, uh, a backup spare, so but then again you want to have one as well just to be on the safe side but make sure that you do have an extra spare uh trailer tire um and five man number five no cheap freight you know we most definitely don't want to uh have all the newbies not knowing how to negotiate and i'll make a video for that later man uh just don't take cheap freight and then that ties into the last one number six know your worth and uh, don't settle for what a broker posts on a, a low board. Negotiate it. You know what I'm saying? If you know you got bills to pay, expenses to cover, negotiate a higher rate. And that's it, man. That's my tips to all y'all. That's my advice to all y'all. I hope that was, uh, you know, informative and you was able to take something from it. And your boy is out with this one. Also, like I said, hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I will drop another video tomorrow. Peace.